The human nose is the most protruding part of the face. It is the first organ of the respiratory system. The main function of the nose is breathing. Another main function of the nose is olfaction, which is the sense of smell. The nose is also involved in the process of speech. But have you ever noticed that our noses are quite big? Have you ever wondered how come humans have huge protruding noses and our closest relatives enjoy nice flat faces? Well, you probably don't envy the nose of a chimpanzee or gorilla. Even though they are our close relatives, they don't have such prominent face features. So what's the deal? What are we supposed to be doing with this gift? Well, if you think your nose is designed for smelling things, you are actually wrong. Our nose has evolved in this way to keep water out of the respiratory passages. We can't close our nose like we can close our mouth, but the shape of the nose, the position and size of the nostrils, and nostril hairs themselves, which are hydrophobic, all serve to block water from entering the nasal passages. Snub-nosed monkeys have problems with rain getting in their flat faces so they sneeze a lot during storms. On rainy days, they sit with their heads tucked between their legs to stop the water getting up their noses. Another possible reason is to allow us to breathe while we're being breastfed. The shape of a human nose helps infants breathe while suckling. Other primates have protruding jaws that allow them to breathe while suckling. If we didn't have our noses, we could be more prone to smothering. Even as adults, the shape of our nose prevents us from being suffocated by things like a pillow while we're asleep. The shape of the human nose has been sculpted in part by climate. Local adaptation to climate has had a role in the evolution of nose shape differences across human population. Individuals from cold, dry environments tend to have tall and narrow nasal cavities, while short and wide noses occur in hot and humid areas. A vital function of the nose is to warm inhaled air to core body temperature and humidify it before it reaches the lower respiratory tract. The narrower nostrils seem to alter the airflow so that the mucus covered inside of the nose can humidify and warm the air more efficiently. It is more essential to have this trait in cold and dry climates. In modern humans, males generally have larger noses and nasal passages than females do, which may be due to a higher oxygen demand. So Lord Voldemort would sneeze a lot in shower, might suffocate while sleeping, and will have less people swiping right on him on Tinder or Grindr. Our nose performs a lot of functions apart from making us look good and most importantly, distinguishes us from aliens.